Okay, so uh, I've been working about uh, almost eight hours uh, straight today on uh, some new software here. So this is the new software that we're putting on our uh, Arduino. It's kind of the brain of our Cartesian robot. So the software, uh, we're up to, what, 500 something lines? So it's not, it's not too big, it's about uh, a kilobyte in size, which is nowhere near the max of the uh, Arduino Mega that we're using, so that's pretty good. But um, the big things that we've added, uh, last time we had figured out how to do simultaneous motor control, and we've implemented, I'll show you the uh, hardware over here, um, we had implemented these button switches here, so you can actually control the position of our Cartesian robot manually. Um, six buttons for the three different axes, each in uh, two different directions, and then we had uh, these two speed potentiometers here uh, for changing the speed and a disable switch that just releases all the current that's going through the steppers. Um, so we've got two motors mocked up here. These are our X and Y um, motors, the way they're wired up. So um, I'll, I'll see if I can get this all in one view. Um, if I push any of these buttons, you can see we get uh, movement from the two motors there. I can move them in both directions. And that's all just using these manual control buttons here. Um, and then uh, we've got speed uh, settings that we can also change. They're running in the, uh, I think, a four microsecond resolution, so that's pretty good. Uh, but I'll show you. Here's the big thing. This is what um, has taken all the time today. I spent a lot of time setting up a serial interface. So uh, using this interface, uh, I can send G codes to the machine, and right now all that's worked in is uh, the G01 G code. Um, you can see me typing it up here, which is linear interpolation. So I'll put in um, simple coordinates of X moving to two inches, Y moving to two inches, and then we'll just keep Z uh, fixed where it's at. We're using a, a colon there for the uh, uh, the end of line character. Once we start using G-code files, we'll switch that over to uh, the carriage return, but uh, for the way we're doing it right now, uh, this was a lot easier to implement. So what I'll do is when I'll hit enter here, um, you can see that it will calculate the steps to take, and I'll show you the machine real quick. You can see that they were steppers were both moving, and then it tells you when it's done moving. So uh, I'll send it another command. We'll just tell it to go back to home on all three axes. So we'll just send it G01, X0, Y0, Z0. Hit enter and motors will both spin to their home position where they started at. The other cool thing that's worked in here um, is I'll do, we'll do an X move that is uh, We'll do five inches, a Y move that's only one inch, and then again leave the Z fixed just because we don't actually have a motor wired up to that. What this will do is we've set a max speed for the XY motors. It will use that max speed, and whatever the furthest distance is uh, of the distances that you give it, it will move that axis at the max speed, and then calculate the speed for the other axis so that basically all three axes would end up at that final destination point simultaneously. So I'll hit enter here and go over to the machine. You can see one of the axes is spinning much faster. That's the one that had to travel five inches. And our uh, Y axis that only had to travel one inch is uh, spinning, I think, five times slower. So um, it's pretty neat. We'll be working to implement some more G codes here, but uh, the biggest one is linear interpolation. That's pretty much what 90% of the G-codes that you normally see are. So uh, it was a big step to get the serial communication working. Another thing to come here is that we've got to figure out how to uh, read a G-code file and send uh, lines of that G-code to the machine, get confirmation that it's done with that line, send it in another line, basically have a handshake in between each command we send it. So those are all things to come, but this was a big milestone and uh, a good solid eight hours of work to make it happen.